Hi guys, this is low. Hold on. Um, welcome back. So welcome or welcome back. Today I have a super fun thrifting video. I decided to go thrifting in. Hold on. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Excuse the state of the clothes. I filmed the try on first. First of all, this video is a petition for thrift stores to reopen dressing rooms. So many reasons. First of all, you'll see some of the stuff that I got just does not fit. Like it's my size, but it just doesn't look good on my body or on me. Or like one thing goes by an older sizing chart that I had to Google. And according to Google, it should have fit, but it really did not. And I really have been into filming this last little portion that I think I put in the last video or two where I talk about things that I picked up but ended up not getting. That's a like huge reason that I want thrift stores to reopen dressing rooms because then I could, I feel like I could show you guys a better idea of those things. I am also trying to find um, thrift stores in my area that actually have dressing rooms. I found a few smaller thrift stores that aren't like a Goodwill or Savers that I really want to try out. Maybe some of them have dressing rooms. We will see. That really helps me not overspend and not overbuy. Sometimes I want to show you guys these cool thrift finds that I find at the store, but I don't want to be wasting my money. This video is also sponsored by my favorite jewelry brand, Ana Luisa. This one's a little bit different because I actually did not get the pieces for myself. I got them as a gift. Mother's Day is coming up and Ana Luisa has a buy one, get one 60% off Mother's Day sale. I actually did not get these pieces for my mom though. I got her some for Christmas. I got her some from Mother's Day and her birthday last year. I will probably get her more for Mother's Day, but this time I really wanted to get some for my sister because her birthday was just this past week and she's graduating nursing school in about a week. The ultimate theme of their Mother's Day campaign is women who inspire us, whether that be your mom, sister, best friend, aunt, any woman in your life, which is why since I always get my mom the jewelry, I really wanted to do something special with my sister. She is 100% a dainty jewelry person and she's also graduating nursing school. I know in a lot of settings you can't wear like any jewelry or you have to be wearing very minimal dainty jewelry. I'm really excited to get her some pieces. I actually ended up getting her a few pieces that I have for myself. I love these pieces and I knew that she would too. So the first thing I got my sister was the Elise pendant in silver. I love wearing this necklace because it is so easy to stack with other necklaces or just wear it by itself. It's a super dainty like just beautiful little pendant. Just like me she has multiple piercings in both of her ears so I wanted to get her some good stacking jewelry. I got her two of my favorite earrings to stack the mini huggy hoops in silver as well as the cassian silver i think these two look so cute together the mini huggy hoops say so good in your ears i know she will be able to wear them pretty much anywhere they are a great minimal piece of jewelry that you can wear with any outfit i love how they look stacked with the cassie i also just as a hoops girl myself i love that the cassie and silver are kind of like a hoop and a stud all in one. I think that's so cute. I also absolutely love that Ana Luisa comes in these adorable little pouches. The pouches make them so easy to give as gifts because they already are in like a cute little thing. You can just box them up or bag them up, write a little card, and it looks like you put so much effort into it. I love these bags also just for storing and traveling with jewelry. So it's an added bonus to your gift. I really wanted to celebrate my sister this time of year. Always admired my sister's drive towards school and how much she cares about others and helping others. Nurses are absolutely amazing. They do the hard jobs that so many other people need and we, and we really rely on. So I really wanted to treat her to something nice that she would love. Unfortunately, my sister is also the exact opposite of me. If you can't tell, she's in nursing and I'm in social media. Um, so she is super camera shy. I did give her everything off camera. My sister and I both wear silver because of our skin tone and it's just what looks best with us. They also have tons of beautiful gold pieces. I've gotten my mom a few of the gold pieces because she prefers that. Also, as someone that is going to be into going into the nursing field, I wanted to get her high quality jewelry that is going to last. They all start at $39 and don't forget that they have that buy one get one 60% off sale going on so you can get some really good deals right now. Sale. I will have a link in my description box that you can use to get to their website and whether you're getting something for yourself, a gift for your mother, your sister, any other strong woman in your life, Ana Luisa is the perfect gift. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi, welcome to the voiceover part. I went to Savers again, my one true love. That I regret not buying that first little painting so bad. It's so cute. I always start in this aisle and my 
apartment doesn't have any wall art yet because I'm terrified of making a mistake in buying wall art and regretting what I got. I also have the worst time, like I have to tell myself not to buy something ironically, like the wine tasting and the glitter in their veins. Like I just wanted to buy that stuff ironically. I didn't need it. I decided I'm gonna do a gallery wall though. So I regret not buying that cute little first painting cause that would have fit perfectly. I know for next time. Anyways, then I headed over to shorts. My goal was linen shorts, didn't find any. It was fine. Then looking at some pants, hoping I could find something cute for work. These cute corduroy blue ones. I didn't love how they looked on the bottom though. And then my favorite section, the like nightwear, slip dress, nightgown area. Super cute, super cool. Um, gold tag Victoria's Secret. The color and the pattern and the size were just not me, but I thought it was super cool find. Sometimes when I just look at thrift stores as a whole, I'm like, dang, how do you find anything in there? Because it looks like a mess of 2012. But I found stuff. These shoes, I used to want a pair of these so bad. I'm sure I could have cleaned them up, but I really didn't need them anymore. The dreaded woman's shirt section. Actually, a few of those were kind of cute. Sometimes I hate myself looking back at my footage. Anyways, onto what I didn't get. I didn't get this top. This is something I kind of regret not getting. I feel like it would have made me look naked. This is why I wish we could have a dressing room. Cause then I could have seen how it looked on me. It would have been a cute going out top. I did not get this blue top. I thought it'd be good for work, but I couldn't figure out. I didn't, I don't like wearing strapless bras and I don't not want to wear a bra to work. So it was a no. I'm not really a gray person. I thought the cutout back of this was really cute, but just like not my color. Didn't love enough to actually pick it up. These shorts were too white. I feel like I would have spilled something or ruined them. These I would have just ended up wearing as pajama shorts. They were Hollister, which is cute, but like I really just do not need to spend $8 on another pair of pajama shorts. And now let's get into the haul. We're back, even though I literally filmed this back to back. Anyway, okay, I also made a Goodwill run that I did not put on camera that I got a few things at. We'll start with tops though. I'll tell you where I got them from and if I remember the price. And if I remember the price, um, first top, the price almost kept me away from it. It is $8.49, almost $9. And like the thrift store prices are crazy now. It was super cute though. I feel like this is a really good top because it's sheer almost all around except for in like the bust area. But it has like a cap sleeve and it's not super cropped. So I feel like it can be going out or just going out like to brunch. Like I feel like it's a versatile top that I can wear for multiple reasons. So that's what really drew me to it. I also just love, I don't know why, like tops with this kind of cinched bust, I just really like. It's super comfy. I am actually glad I ended up buying it despite the price. Yeah, and this one was from Savers. This was a Savers purchase. This top was a Goodwill purchase. I do not remember the price. I wanna say it was around four or $5. Like it was actually surprisingly cheap considering it's Hollister and I feel like name brands tend to be upcharged at Goodwill. It's this little tie top. I'm trying to figure out if I can tie it in the side because it seems like it's supposed to be tied in the back but I feel like it would be a lot cuter at the side. It's just weird with like the way that the straps sit when you tie it at the side. I don't know. I also need to see if I can like find it on their website and see how it's tied. But it's this like cute little baby blue, almost like periwinkle I want to say color. Super soft, super comfy, good basic. And then this last top I got at Savers. It's Ann Taylor Loft. I specifically bought it for work. It's $6.99, so about $7. I just, when I'm like rushing to work, and I don't want to think of an outfit. I have a lot of nice pants and nice skirts that I can just put with a black top. So I have a long sleeve black top, I have a short sleeve black top, and now I have this mock neck. So I feel like my collection of work tops is complete. It's this really nice thick ribbed material. Yeah, I just thought it was really good work basic. Like that is the whole reason that I bought it. I got one dress. I'm getting back in my slip dress era. I feel like I used to thrift slip dresses every day, like all the time. Um, and I feel like I haven't found a good one in a while. I am really sad. This is the thing that I was talking about in my intro when I was saying that it is, cause it's size is a 36. And I want to say this tag is vintage. I'll have to see if I can look into it or if like any of you guys know. It's Hanes, size 36, made in the USA. I can't find a date or anything, but I can find like numbers. And if I look that up before I publish this, I will put it somewhere, either on screen or in description. Unfortunately, it is a little bit big on me, but I just love, it's like super long, so it doesn't feel 
as inappropriate as some slip dresses do. I think we're just gonna have to deal with my face being in this shot. Sorry. Not that that's. Sorry if you hate my face. This is why I need a wide light angled lens. And I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't brush out my curls yet. This is awful. I'm so sorry. This is what happens. This is what happens when I stop being a YouTuber for a minute. Anyways, you get the gist because it also doesn't even fit me. So I'm either gonna alter it or give it to a friend who it does fit. But like, it's. Uh, I want to keep it so bad. Just because of like this and also the fact that it's so long, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a nightgown even though I am. And I just love the lace on the bodice. Like, this part is so pretty. I am shooting film this weekend, and I have a friend who I feel like will fit this a lot better, so I may offer it to her if she wants to wear it at the film shoot. And or if she wears it, I might just alter it afterwards. Or even if she doesn't want to wear it, I think I'm going to try to take it in because it is really pretty, and I think it would be, like, amazing for a film video. And I'm really trying to get back into film photography a little bit more. I said my goal last year to shoot 12 rolls. I think I shot like eight. I was a little bit behind. So I really want to get back into it, especially because the first few rolls were like right in a row in the first few months of the year. And then the last few months of the year, I shot like one roll. Hopefully buying clothes gets me back into that. Um, next, okay, I bought one pair of shorts. I saw this girl on TikTok. I need to get off TikTok. I need to take like a social media break or something and like let my brain be itself for a minute. But I thought this was really good like insight that basically now that I'm not in college anymore, like I have a full-time job. I graduated, but I'm still in my 20s. Like I'm not old. And like that's a whole other tangent about like people calling women old and how like these 21 year olds gasped when I told them I was 24. They were like, oh, 24, that's so old. It's not old. Anyway, 24 is not old. I'm still in my 20s, but jean shorts do feel very high school and college to me. And I wanted something, I don't wanna wear jeans every day of the summer or a skirt. And I saw this TikTok of a girl talking about how linen shorts are like good for someone that's in their 20s, but they don't wanna feel like they're a teenager anymore. That was my goal at the thrift store. I did not find any, but I found leather shorts. Um, they're the brand, the brand has been cut out. So I really can't tell. I want to say they're vintage just by the shape and like, what does this say? I don't know. I don't know. Really, I don't want to be talking out of my ass. When I say vintage, I know vintage is at least 20 years. And I want to say on this tags, it at least kind of feels like they're older. I definitely will need to figure out if there's like ways I can treat them because they're a little bit wrinkly and I don't want to throw them in the wash and the tag specifically says um, professional leather clean only. So I'm going to look into how I can kind of de-wrinkle them myself and everything but I feel like these are a really great pair of shorts that just make me feel like an adult and not like I'm in college anymore. So I'm excited for them. Um, I have a friend who's really into vintage clothes, so I'll see if she can figure out how to help me clean these and everything. Um, I got two pair of pants. This this pair of pants is one of those things that's like, I wish dressing rooms were open because they are in my size and everything. They're originally from Target. Oh my gosh. Also, the jean shorts are $5.49 and they were from Goodwill. Okay. These um, are also, these were from Savers. They were only $3.49, so I thought that was really cheap. I was really excited. They're in my size, originally from Target, and I love the sage green color. Like, I'm obsessed with sage green. And they are, like, I knew they were going to be high waters when I bought them, and I was like, that's not a problem. I'll figure it out. Like, I'll wear them with tall shoes, or I'll get over it, because, like, being someone who has a very short torso and long legs my entire life, like, even when I was a kid and I was short, I knew I had long legs and a short torso, um, high waters have terrified me because they were always not intentional but I knew if I was buying an intentional pair of high waters like I could figure out how to style them everything would be okay except for the fact that they literally come up like 
like they cover my entire torso. I'm probably going to give them to a friend because they they take up my entire torso. They're so high waisted. So that's kind of a loss, but at least they're cheap and at least I have friends that I can give them to. And the last thing that I got were these super comfy, also originally from Target. I got them so from Goodwill and I had already washed them so I don't remember how much they were. I want to say like five dollars. Um, just super fluffy, comfy pants for lounging and sleeping. Literally the comfiest, softest lounge and sleep pants. Not much else to them. So do not forget to check out Anna Luisa's Mother's Day sale for those important women in your life, whether you can honestly buy something for yourself, if you're buying something for your mom, sister like I did, someone's birthday's coming up, buy one, get one 60% off. It's an amazing deal. They have the highest quality jewelry I wear every single day of my life. I will have a link in the description box to their website with my link and everything. So please don't forget to check that out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm a little bit more active on TikTok and Instagram, so check out there. Bye!